everyone, how are we doing today? It's Benny Mac Attack back again in the Scar Model Garage. Hope we're all doing well. Uh, sound a bit funny, guys. Uh, second day of holidays, and sure enough, what do you know? I got the flu. It's always a way, eh? But anyway, I'm still plugging along. A uh, big thank you, firstly, to all the new subscriptions for the channel. Hope you guys like my videos. Um, yeah, it's really keeping me going, giving me some motivation. Uh, today I'm bringing you build number 7 for 2012. Uh, you've probably already seen this one. I did a quick video of this one when I finished it about a month or two ago. I was just playing around with my iPhone and seeing how I could upload videos onto YouTube. And But anyway, I thought I'd do an update on it and let you know a bit about it. But, uh, yeah, basically, I really like the decals it came with, the graphics on the side, so I wanted to stick with that, but I wasn't too keen on just doing it plain old white, so uh, I went through all my Createx paints and sort of found the best colour I thought that matched the blue with the decals and ended up going with the pearlized lime green. And, yeah, I reckon it looks pretty good, pretty good match, nice and shiny. I was thinking of trying some graphics on this. I watched Dr. Cranky's and Fast Jimmy's videos. Man, they did some crazy stuff with this kit. But it's my first year in the modeling hobby, guys, so I'm not really getting into customs and cutting and chopping, and I'm just happy doing the stock model kits at the moment and playing around with the paint. Uh, I've had a couple of guys ask me about the Createx paints. Well, I keep putting the wicked dinners up here and forgetting to talk about it sorry guys but basically this is what I used to thin down my Createx wicked colors uh, it's a 0100 wicked reducer and it doesn't really I just sort of play around with it I haven't diluted it too far down but it really does help through the airbrush they recommend 40 to 45 PSI, I think, for the Createx straight out of the bottle. I mean, that's pretty high PSI for spraying the models, I thought. So, I find if I reduce it down with this Wicked, I can probably run down to 25 PSI, and it seems to be a lot smoother as well. And also use this Retarder Createx product. It's meant to help in the hot uh, humidity areas, like here in Australia. Helps out with the tip dry and yeah, it just helps it flow a bit better, I find as well. So that's what I use, guys, anyway, on my Createx paints. I uh, find it helps a lot better. Also, heat seems to be really good for the paints. Sometimes I'll fill up a old ice cream container just with some warm water and I'll just let the paint sit in that for five or ten minutes before I use it. And that seems to help it flow a lot better as well. But that's about it for this one, guys. Uh, better give you a close up, I suppose. Got a bit more confident with the bare metal foil on this job. Ended up putting it on the badges, the door handles, I did all the front window. Uh, I even did the hinges on the back this time, I think. The only thing I wish I did different was different colours for the seats. They sort of just blend into the interior now. Uh, I had a bamboo sticker line around that was pretty close fit, so I put that on the spare tyre. thought it looked pretty cool. Bit of custom. <laughs> but yeah, that's it guys. Hope you have a good day. Until next time, Benny Mac out. Somebody building against the Brazil